Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2018 Dodge Durango, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium Platform Style Bike Rack. So today, the rack that we have can hold up to a total of two bikes. However, if you don't need to carry that many, there's a one bike version available as well. Now, the main thing that really kind of separates this rack from some of the others is how it's going to secure your bike down. So we're gonna have two wheel hooks, so one, for each tire and that's something you don't see really all that often a lot of them just have a hook here for the front tire and then a small strap or something in the back so this is going to do a great job of keeping your bike secure especially for those of you that have carbon bikes no frame contact so not going to have to worry about damaging them now because of those wheel hooks what we're able to do is actually offset our bikes so a lot of times when you try to put your second bike up here handlebars and kind of hit the seat and kind of just be a pain. So that's something we're not going to have to deal with with this rack. And if we loosen up our wheel hooks here, we're actually able to roll our bike to one side or the other. And that'll free up that little bit of extra space that we need for our second bike to get on there without any interference. Well, with that being said, one of the big questions that we get asked all the time in regards to these hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still going to be able to have full access to the back of your Durango. And with this one, we're able to fold it down, even with the bikes on. Really simple lever under here that you're going to pull in, and that'll drop it down. Not going to have to deal with pins and clips or foot levers, none of that stuff. So real straightforward. We'll lower it down and then we're going to have the room that we need to open up our hatch and get anything we might need in and out of the back of it. So once we're finished up here, we can close it down. Then we just raise our rack back into that upright position. Some odd things pretty neat is each wheel tray is going to have an integrated lock so you can keep your bike secure. You're not going to have to worry about kind of peeking out the window whenever you stop at a gas station or maybe get a bite to eat before or after the trails. So it gives you a little peace of mind there. But let's go ahead and take our bike off the rack so we can take a closer look at the rack itself. So the way these wheel hooks work, simple lever. They swing down all the way flat, so it really does give us a lot of space to work here. And when you take the second one off, be sure to have a grip on your bike, because this is the only thing holding it. You don't want it to tip over and hit your Durango. So swing that one down as well. Then we can just pop our bike off and set it to the side. And whenever you're not using the rack, definitely want to be sure to just put these wheel hooks back in this sort of position, just so we don't have to worry about anything happening to you. Now there is something you need to think about, and that's whenever we have the rack on the back of a Durango, it is gonna extend the overall length. And to find out exactly how much, grab my tape measure, we'll go from the bumper here to the very edge of the rack. Looks like it's gonna put it at right at 26 inches. So although it's not taking up a ton of space, something you wanna kinda of keep in the back of your mind when you go to pull into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot. Now this can be folded into a stored position. Use that same lever underneath there and swing it up. And like this, it brings it nice and tight to the back of our Durango, so it hardly takes up any room. We'll just go from the license plate this time, the very edge, and that's right at nine inches. So really don't see this giving you any issues when you do go to pull into your garage in that tight spot. So the rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Durango, but also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches. So it gives us a little versatility there. This is going to have an integrated hitch pin, which is awesome because we're not going to have to worry about keeping track of a separate one or even sourcing one separately. So everything we need to use the rack is built right into it. We're gonna have a knob here at the end, and whenever you tighten this down, it's going to eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point. And that's gonna keep the ride inside of your Durango a little bit quieter, 
and provide your bikes with a little more of a smooth ride as well. So just kind of give you an example on how it works. Say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see the rack's gonna move with our Dodge and not on its own. So at the end of the day, one of my favorite platform style bike racks. It's super easy to use, gonna help free up some space on the inside of your Dodge. And honestly, I think it looks really cool on the back of the Durango. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium platform style bike rack on our 2018 Dodge Durango.